50 years of practice among five partners, UHY James Chartered Accountants is committed to your growth story. See what I've made! Wow! That looks like our new home, huh? It's as simple as this to make your dream home come true with Bank of Baroda. Easy home loans in UAE procedures, quick approvals, and low interest rates. Dad, let's go for a drive in a new car! Let's go! Drive your dream car with Bank of Baroda. Speedy car loans at low interest rates. Imagine it and it can be yours. Bank of Baroda, India's international bank. a record in the 39 years of history of ICA Dubai chapter. This could be possible only with the support of the executive committee who worked around the clock over the last two weeks to let you have this wonderful experience inside Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. To thank UAE and our Emirati leaders and friends for their support and to celebrate the success story of UAE. Let us join together and celebrate the year of 50th of the United Arab Emirates today. I thank our Ambassador of India to UAE, His Excellency Pawan Kapoor and Council General, His Excellency Dr. Aman Puri for their continued support and guidance for the chapter activities. Let us all be proud about the strategic relationship built by our Indian leaders with the UAE. And as members of the CA brand, let us not leave any stone unturned to build further on this relationship and work on the common interest and for the mutual benefits of both the countries. 26 speakers and 11 chief guests, guest of honors address the members for reskilling during our main event. Almost in all CP events, we had the opportunity to hear many Emirati leaders, including His Highness Sheikh Rashid bin Humayd al Noemi. His Excellency Sheikh Engineer Salam bin Sultan Al Qasimi, His Highness Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Ali Al Nuemi, Raja Al Masroy, Her Excellency Dr. Mariam Al Suwedi, Mr. Jasim Siddiqui, and other Emirati leaders who share their knowledge and wisdom. Speaker CA Dinesh Kodhari, CA James Matthew, CA Navin Sharma, CA Hanumanta Kumar. CA Jaya Krishnan TV, CA Prabhdeep Singh Baweja, Chairman CA Sundar Nurani, Vice Chairman CA Anurag Chaturvedi, my colleagues in the Managing Committee, respected members of the chapter, and all our young, dynamic CA students and aspiring 
to be ca students a very good evening to all of you i welcome each one of you to our virtual students event how ca career can help in your overall development first of all i would like to thank our excom member ca jayprakash agarwal for arranging the webinar for our ca students and aspiring ca students i would also like to acknowledge the support from our chairman ca sundar nurani and ici regional director middle east and africa ca pradeep singh baweja anyway our learned speakers of the day will provide you the tips for success in ca career but i can share my experience i was not a rank holder um, i cleared my ca final in may 1996 and uh, then landed in mumbai my dream city uh, the first job actually i joined in century textiles and industries limited mumbai as assistant manager in corporate finance department and i worked there for 2 years thereafter i joined uh, uh, as accounting manager in cyberspace limited mumbai india which is an it company so i worked over there for 2 years thereafter i joined uh, actually in Al dubai alfutem engineering and uh, then i worked with alfutem panatech for about 2 and 1/2 years uh, as commercial analyst uh, thereafter i joined uh, actually philip morris dubai which is a multinational company and i hope you know that uh, this is uh, mainly in tobacco industry and they have flagship brand of the smallboro cigarettes there i worked for 5 years at a, as a head of finance and administration uh, there after i joined uh, dubai world trade center llc which is an event and exhibition company semi government company you know in dubai i worked there for one and half years as a change manager Uh, then i joined as head of finance in alfutem real estate and uh, worked for dubai festival city mall uh, for about 10 years uh, which is like one of the prominent uh, local family uh, uh, conglomerate in dubai uh, so i worked with them around 10 years and uh, then thereafter uh, i have started my own audit firm and i have been managing my own audit firm for the last 7 years so you see guys i have worked in corporate office of birla group it company then i worked with one of the stock broking bro broker as well uh, fmcg company retail mall real estate and events and exhibitions like dubai world trade center and uh, now i am running my own audit firm so you see the this is possible because i am an indian chartered accountant that's the reason i mean you know we are trained in such a way and very rigorously during our article sheet and uh, during our course and then thereafter in various uh, companies so uh, it helps a, a lot and uh, i would say if ca like you know one size uh, fits for all and uh, it works um, so this was my experience and there are uh, our prominent speakers today who are going to share their experiences as well and i would like to thank our sponsors who have always supported us in all our endeavors our principal sponsor danu group tally lulu uh, our platinum sponsors uh, uhy james and hlb hemp i also thank our media partner kalish times institutional partner delhi private school and banking partner bank of baroda actually i heard a quote this week written by warren buffet and i loved it so much so i thought to share with you as well uh, and he mentioned surround yourself with people that push you to the to do better no drama or negativity just higher goals and higher motivation good times and positive energy no jealousy or hate simply just bring out the absolute best in each other today we are all fortunate enough to be surrounded by great speakers who are going to share their experiences of various industries and their entrepreneurial success journey Uh, which they have gone through uh, during their career and at the end i wish you all a great career and enjoy this students event uh, now i request our chairman c s sundar nurani to deliver his chairman's address and share his words of wisdom and his career uh, over to you uh, sundar sir thank you harikshan ji uh, good evening to all i am very proud uh, that i am able to address uh, all the uh, students uh, you know who are aspiring to become the uh, future chartered accountants uh, it is a very great great moment for us to share our experience uh, and uh, trying to have some kind of uh, you know uh, vitamin m to be given to all of you vitamin m is motivation we have uh, lined up great speakers uh, 
we have three past chairman james sir hanuman ji and navin ji uh, who are the uh, torch bearers of the chapter they were the previous chairman of the chapter and we have uh, kotari saab who is a very prominent personality he who doesn't need any introduction as such he is an institution by himself and we have our regional director pradeep sim baweja ji who is uh, uh, you know i mean who is going to take you all through the uh, ca journey how what are the steps and uh, you need to uh, adhere to and we also have jay krishnan uh, tv who is uh, going to talk about uh, the ample opportunity so we have aligned a variety of speakers uh, thanks to uh, uh, our executive committee member uh, jay prakash agarwal who uh, uh, has who made uh, who, who could make this possible because uh, somebody motivated him what he told me is uh, when he was uh, you know studying in the college uh, he got such inspiration and uh, his mantra was uh, there should be someone uh, we need only a single person who is positive who is uh, you know able to motivate uh, uh, all of you to do this so we don't have one but we have many uh, to uh, accomplish this task uh, and uh, uh, harigishan uh, you would have listened to harigishan and the great journey there is no limitation for chartered accountants so you can do any job Uh, but the training uh, what is uh, provided to us is very important uh, for me uh, you know i mean after completing the bcom i am from a village called nurani in palakkad uh, so after completing my graduation i went to mumbai and and i was trained by uh, some of the prominent chartered accountants in mumbai and pune uh, all my credit uh, you know what whatever i am here today is because of the uh, a training what i got from my uh, bosses i mean we call them gurus and uh, uh, one of the uh, biggest way to learn is to do things by yourself so when you do the chartered accountancy you will be subject to the article ship training because if you want to do an operation on any patient uh, the degree or what you learned in the hospital or medical college will not help you it is the practice you know what you develop that is going to uh, help you so the ca course uh, lays a very big foundation and uh, i have been i am very proud of my gurus uh, you know i mean in india we call it uh, guru shishya parampara that means uh, whatever we have is we inherit from the gurus so the chartered accountants uh, who are going to train you when you become the article clerk uh, the uh, so they they will lay the foundation which is going to be uh, your career path so once you qualify there is a sky is the limit so uh, i am a partner in deloitte i have been uh, i don't have a very big uh, uh, this one uh, when compared to hari what hari told because last 20 years i am working with deloitte as a partner uh, i take care of audit and assurance uh, there is no limit for opportunities uh, for chartered accountant chartered accountants can do forensic accounting chartered accountant can do internal audit chartered accountant can do it uh, consultancy which you will hear from our great speakers uh, so without uh, further ado i would uh, you know uh, welcome you all for this program again and uh, thanks to my scom who supported me in this endeavor uh, then uh, one thing which i want to uh, you know i mean uh, uh, leave with good uh, this one is uh, one quote which i always remember from his highness sheikh mohammed the word impossible is not in the dictionary of dubai or you know united arab emirates Uh, so what you need is you should dream about big thing when you are awake if you dream when you sleep that is not going to happen so uh, dream big set good targets and work consistently uh, for reaching that target nothing is impossible nothing is impossible you will be there god bless you all before i sign off uh, happy new year to all of you and uh, i am sure that 2020 will 2022 will bring us uh, good luck and uh, you know all, all the fortunes and uh, everything what we need uh, surrender yourself with positive people don't get demotivation and take care of your health and wellness thank you over to you harikrishan sir uh, thank you very much uh, chairman sir for your kind words and i also wish everyone merry christmas and happy new year as well uh, now i would like to uh, request our excom member c a jayprakash agarwal to introduce our main speaker ca pradeep singh baweja over to you jay thank you everybody 
Uh, today is special for me. Why? Because we are interacting with students. The future of India. I mean, we have done what we have to do till now. But you are the ones where we are relying on. And we are looking forward that most of you or many of you would love to become chartered accountants. But to understand what is chartered accountant, today is the session. The idea is to know what exactly CA does. Because frankly speaking, when I was in your age, I did not know what is CA. I, I thought what is CA, CA is, is not in the right order. It should be A and C. Why it is C and A? So for me, CA was something which I could not understand when I was in your age. It took me time to understand. And then today, I'm reaping the benefits of it. So to, to understand what is ICAI, what is Chartered Accountancy, we have one prominent speaker with us, is Pradeep Singh Baweja. He is himself a qualified Chartered Accountant from ICAI. And he has, he's currently serving as Regional Director for Middle East and Africa. His earlier work assignments include nine years in professional practice with BDO and other top accounting firms in UAE. Prior to joining ICI, he has also served in ex as executive member of ICI Dubai chapter for a period of four years. He currently holds honorary position of chair alignment committee in Toastmaster International and has also served as club extension chair, division governor, founder president of club, mentor in tech, Toastmaster International. He has been awarded the highest recognition in Toastmaster, which is Distinguished Toastmaster Award, and very few members out of more than 300,000 members ever received this recognition. He is an avid reader and maintains his personal library of over 500 books on diverse topics. Trust me, I have borrowed some books from him. He has a real good collection of books. His passion for social work and conducting blood donation camp has made him known as Blood Man among his friends and close network. I welcome Prabhdeep Singh Bhaweja, to please share us what is ICI and how CA can help. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jay, for your warm introduction. My sincere gratitude to the managing committee of Dubai chapter under the leadership of Chairman CA Sindhu Norani Ji, Vice Chairman CA Anurag Chaturvedi Ji, uh, Secretary Shri Harikrishan Rankavat Ji, Treasurer Shri CA Mano Jagarwal Ji, uh, executive members, including Jay, who introduced me, uh, CA Manuji, uh, CA Amit Khetanji, CA Rishi Chavlaji, and CA Priyanka Guptaji, and uh, my sincere gratitude to the leaders, the prominent leaders of Dubai, who will be speaking today and sharing their experiences, including the, the institution in itself, as said, CA Dinesh Kothariji, and uh, CA Hanumant Kumar, past chairman of Dubai chapter, CA James Matthew Ji, CA uh, uh, Naveen Sharma Ji, and uh, CA Jay uh, Krishnan, uh, who will be speaking uh, today. And it's a very important day for me because uh, we uh, are communicating with those who have not yet joined the Chartered Accountancy. I see some of the Chartered Accountant students are also here to encourage uh, our young members and some of our members who many of them act as principals as the, uh, uh, as the employer in one language, but called as a principal for students who do articleship in UAE. And uh, uh, I'm thankful to each one of you who is here today to listen to me. And uh, uh, I will uh, start sharing uh, my screen before I go ahead. So I hope my screen is visible. Yes. 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 yes thank you. Thank you, Ajiji. So today I have uh, uh, been given a topic. Uh, first of all, I would like to warm, uh, extend a warm welcome to everyone. And I have been given a topic, awareness on ICAI and preparation stages to become chartered accountant. In this uh, session, where I have around 30 minutes, what I will do is that I have divided into four parts. I will start with introduction to accounting profession where uh, I will take uh, good time so that I can set a base for you uh, 
so then you understand what our leaders will be talking uh, after me for 50 minutes. Then uh, what is ICAI and ICI internationally? Considering we all are uh, located in UAE and it's very important for you to understand how ICI is looked upon or how ICI has expanded its field internationally. Then how you can become an Indian chartered accountant. Uh, very quickly, I will take you through that and we'll end with opportunities and some other information, other relevant information in the last four minutes. Starting with introduction to the accounting profession. Some of the things which you see in the boxes, independence, consulting, internal controls, detect frauds, financial reporting and standards. This is something I feel holds the key to the accounting profession and why is it so? As a chartered accountant, it's his duty to independently audit the accounts, a responsibility by a statutory auditor. So a chartered accountant being independent audits the financial statements. Then chartered accountants are those people who provide different kinds of services in the form of consulting, a consulting of a transaction advisory, a consulting for business planning, consulting for IT, consulting for taxation, consulting for internal audit. So these kind of a different services an accounting professional provides. So that these are the two key services can be divided into. Then chartered accountant or accountants have to perform the functions of internal control seeing that to maintain the internal controls in the organization. Second, to detect frauds. When it comes to internal control, an organization, if it's standing on a very weak internal controls will may have a lot of problems. So there, the responsibility of internal auditors comes up significantly. And we have speaker today, see in the future, but you will be, talking about an internal auditor who is a director internal audit in an organization. Then, you know, the word is plagued with fraud. Like there can be different kinds of frauds which may come across. When we talk about this pandemic period, we have spent almost two years in the pandemic and the different countries, you know, have announced uh, a lot of uh, measures to support the businesses. And there have been many frauds which have come up where you know the organizations or the people have tweaked their exact status and claimed benefits. So those have been like different kinds of a frauds. It's a chartered accountant's responsibility uh, to detect frauds. Maybe not statutory auditor because he has a very, uh, he looks, a statutory auditor looks at the financial statements or at the organization from a different point, but those who may be an internal auditor are more uh, suited to detect frauds in an organization. Then comes up financial reporting. You must have seen your parents, uh, your parents uh, uh, investing in the stock market, right? When a parents, your parents invest in a stock market, they may be reviewing the financial statements, which are audited by an auditor and published by the organization. When those uh, reports are being issued, it's an act of reporting things, reporting the financial position of the company. And it's important for different stakeholders, which can be investors, which can be uh, suppliers, which can be financial institutions to see whether they should deal with that organization or not. Then the last word which I have here is standards. You are studying in a school or doing a different thing. Every, every act what we do 
including the education, everything has a standard. For you, uh, as a student, you may not be knowing that the educational institutes uh, go through the education standards and ensure that they are meeting those education standards. When it comes to the profession, accounting profession, there are different kinds of standards, but the most important key standards are accounting standards, which talks about how an accounts of an organization are maintained. Then auditing standards, which talks about what is the responsibility of an auditor, like what standards an auditor has to follow when auditing an organization. So there are systems which are in place. We have say Hanuman Kumar who will be talking about the consulting services. When it comes to a financial reporting, uh, you see uh, there comes a business acumen. We have uh, C.A. Dinesh Kothari ji who will be talking about how a chartered accountant can transform business. Right, so each and every speaker uh, who will be speaking today after me will be uh, talk, we have uh, CA James Matthew will be talking about uh, the importance of audit. So it will revolve ar around most of these keywords, which is here. Moving forward, for each one of us, the two pertinent issues for accounting profession is how the future may look like and how technology is impacting our profession. So we will spend a few minutes on this. If you see the future, you may have gone to Expo 2020, right? Uh, and you may have seen the demonstration of the best of technology. Today morning only I was telling someone uh, that you know the things which are bound to come in the world, there's a lot which we can see in Expo 2020 in the different country pavilions. The technology which I'm seeing in some of the pavilions is very sophisticated, very smart technology. And this smart and sophisticated technology will replace the traditional approach. It's continuously replacing. When it comes uh, to our uh, profession or any profession, you know, the use of uh, systems uh, considering working from home has significantly increased. And uh, even uh, in the villages, you know, everyone is, has been forced to come on uh, a computer, a laptop, or a mobile phone for education also, considering uh, in India still most of the schools have been uh, on uh, online mode. And second, continued globalization, which is happening, which is happening since many decades, has been creating more and more opportunities and also challenges for members of the accounting. When we talk about uh, opportunities, a small example is that, you know, a KPU industry, a knowledge process outsourcing industry has been uh, growing in India at a very fast pace since uh, two or three decades, but this will grow, the multiplication uh, of the growth will be very significant considering, you know, when it comes to work from home, even in UAE, we have witnessed uh, that, you know, there have been many organizations who not only from since the COVID started, there have been many who have been shifting, who have uh, been looking uh, to see that how uh, an individual may work from their own country. And there are some people, uh, many organizations, when they are uh, still working from home, there are some people who are uh, working from the hills to have a better environment. So from a different place, you can provide service to a different country. An increased regulation and associated disclosure rules will have the greatest impact on the profession for years to come. We saw in UAE, the VAT was introduced in 2018. And there have been many regulations with regard to uh, anti-money laundering, uh, economic substance regulation, which have come up in UAE. And uh, when uh, these countries have signed an agreement for minimum tax, uh, and in the few years it will come, you know, these changes which are happening in the regulation and taxation will create more opportunities. It will have impact on the profession, but the things may differ from how it's happening today, or it has been continuously evolving. 
when you get qualified as a chartered accountant, then you need to remember that we are not just talking about the skills in accounting. We are talking about an individual who is a complete person. And how do we become a complete person? By having different skills, which are required, like a balance between the technical and non-technical skills. When it comes to students in UAE, where a student in UAE gets an advantage of speaking in English from grade one, or even lower than that, then you know that our communication skills mostly are good. But that advantage we do not get when we may have studied in India where there are so many languages and our school education system may not also be in English. So therefore communication is not a problem, but when it comes to communication, you need to remember the right way of communicating. Maybe different competitions are happening in your school. I encourage you to participate because different things, you participate in debate or elocution contest or related things, it will help you to develop as a great communicator. Then taking an opportunity in the schools will set a way, taking uh, if opportunity comes of, in your way to become a monitor or a prefect, take that, that will help you to develop your leadership skills. You know, a student in United States of America, maybe just five or six years old, uh, you know, they will demonstrate business acumen by uh, selling, selling lemonade on the roads when they are very young uh, kids. So for you, it's very important to understand that being responsible for finance does not mean that you can stay away from deciding how the things have to do in the business because the role of a chartered accountant is evolving. It's becoming more a strategic role. Then high order thinking skills, critical thinking skills, analytic and problem solving, strategic thinking skills, these are very important. We are, uh, we as a student, uh, you know, are lucky that we are uh, staying in that age where we get access to computers at a very early age. So we do have understanding of IT, but we do not have to stop there. We have to see that how the best of skills we can get on to, to ensure that our career is on the growth Then a accounting professional can serve in all possible avenues of commerce. He can be an entrepreneur, he can give management consultancy services, he can be in business, he can be in IT field. Uh, you can go for government services in India or elsewhere, and uh, you can go for academics. So it's up to you that where your interest lies. But we have to start with a strong education, a strong uh, professional education for a great career. This I slightly talk about the, the trends which you need to see and take care that how the disruptive technologies are affecting. And I said that the role of a chartered accountant is evolving because most of the tasks are getting automated and the changes which are happening, I talked about the re regulatory and compliance changes. This will, uh, and the technology changes, this will accelerate and multiply going forward. So most of the, uh, most of examples, as I said, most of the tasks may get automated. We may lose jobs to AI, artificial intelligence, but also large number of jobs will also get created. Now, uh, there are two uh, projects which are going on, like primary financial statements is a project where the financial statements comparison becomes easy. So the comments from uh, the people have been received and uh, uh, when this comes, when the final uh, primary financial statement standard is issued, 
then you will see that it will be easy for you to compare the financial statements. And currently in this May 2021, you know, management commentary project draft was issued. This is something, you know, which will make a significant impact in the way uh, how the financial reporting is done because the information what is contained in a financial statement will be more of a futuristic than just a historical cost information where you know even business models will be stated considering the life of the organizations has been become, becoming shorter and shorter as a student you need to remember that you have to care connect and enable things you don't have to control things as you wish always try new things and be willing to fail and learn don't be shy of making a mistake make mistakes and learn with trial and errors in the age of google we think that the most of the information which is available from uh, search engines and other sources is ours but that may not be the case we should not have an attitude that I know things. We should have an attitude to listen and learn. Now I move on to my second part. I'm, I think I 20 minutes and I thought I'll take 13. I'll be a little quick in this. This is the headquarters of ICAI and uh, uh, it's in New Delhi. We are an autonomous statutory body established in July 1st, 1949. And we are a premier accounting body in the world. Now we all, uh, we, may, we know that in, a, in this world, there are 192 countries which are recognized by UN. And there are more than 200 countries by some uh, uh, data, like maybe even 250 countries in the world. But, there are only 26 countries in the world who have a strong accounting body. And India is one of them. And we come in one of the top accounting bodies of the world. We have around 3.5 lakh members or seven lakh students and we are functioning from the past 72 years. This is a small information about our infrastructure. CA is a self-study program, but in hundred cities, we have our own branch buildings. We have more than, uh, in 165 countries, we have facilities available. And uh, we have a very strong IT infrastructure. And most importantly, we have a formal presence in more than 70 cities of the world through our chapters and representative offices. As an institute, you know, it's important that our members stay at forefront all across the world. So therefore, we get into MRAs and MOUs with different accounting bodies. When it is MRA, it means that mutual recognition agreement, where with a small set of papers, you can become a member of an, another accounting body. And most importantly, I would like to make a mention of England, Canada, Australia, which are the countries uh, where most of uh, Indian community wants to move. And once you move to that country, you can easily become a member of the accounting body in that country. We, get, uh, we, uh, get, we have an attitude to serve. So therefore we enter into MOUs, mutual uh, memorandum of understandings with many countries so that we can work towards developing the accounting profession in different parts of the world. Uh, so this is how we have done. We have uh, done projects for many countries like Nepal. Nepal is a country where we have played a very big role in setting their accounting body. And it's going very strong that now we have entered into MRA with Nepal. These are some other countries. I would like to make mention that uh, uh, in November 2022, we will be hosting uh, 21st World Congress of Accountants, which is an Olympiad of Accountants, which happens once in four years. This will be the first time India will be hosting it. 
and uh, the members uh, accounting professionals from different parts of the world and even other uh, professionals uh, will join in the conference. How to become an Indian Chartered Accountant? There are two ways. Uh, you can either go through the foundation scheme or a direct entry scheme. As a student, if, if you are studying in 11th grade, you can register for the Chartered Accountancy now. And you need to register for Chartered Accountancy before 31st December of the year you are in 12th. If you want to appear in May of the year, you are appearing in 12th grade like just after two months of appearing in your 12th, you can appear for the entrance of the uh, Chartered Accountancy. Then there are four papers in it, which includes accounting, business laws, mathematics, and logical reasoning, and business economics, uh, with some other commercial knowledge. And direct entry, uh, I will leave uh, because it's not very relevant for uh, the audience which is here today. Then the second step after you clear your foundation, there's an intermediate where there's a 10 month study period. And after 10 month study period, you can appear in your eight papers. And after you qualify in any of the four, you can start your internship, which I will talk more in detail. This is the internship, a practical training, which as a chartered accountant student, you have to do. Now this practical training includes three years with uh, three years in an accounting firm and last few months can also be done as an industrial training. And while you study for chartered accountancy, you have to spend around 400 hours, where 200 hours are for your developing your information technology skills and 200 hours are for development of your management and communication skills, which you do through 100, 100 hours course. While you do your internship, you earn a stipend. Uh, and sometimes uh, your stipend, if you are working in a very large uh, organization, uh, it can be as high as even uh, 5,000 or 6,000 dirhams in your first year of internship. But on an average, uh, the stipend which is there in UAE is like 1,500 in the first year, 2,500 in the second year, and 3,500 in the third year. As a chartered accountant student, you get an access to world-class cloud campus of the Institute, where apart from the study material, there are a lot of videos available, a lot of presentations available, notes available, uh, different uh, resources available to practice. And also there are virtual classes, which are available since pandemic has hit for free to the students, which you can attend live. The last milestone is you clear your CA finals. Uh, and when you are in the last six months of your practical training, you appear in your CA finals, where also there are eight subjects. And when it comes to a fees for international students, when you register as an international student and pay in dollars, it is little more than $4,000, which you may have to Pay, which is also includes a one-time examination fee, uh, examination fee for different levels. As a chartered accountant uh, and as a student of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, there's equal opportunity for everyone. There's a campus placement available. Uh, and we do whatever best possible to make you a very strong accountant. As a chartered accountant, you set up your base for leadership positions in public and private sector. Do work in different sectors, which can be banking, governance, or on economic policies also. You earn attractive remuneration and you can 
do your professional practice. A chartered accountant signature, as we say, is very important. And you can render different services in the audit certification. So I have talked about, it can be your own practice, it can be employment, it can be entrepreneurship. You can further do your studies and management. You are eligible to appear in civil services examination. We have tie up with IMs on certain management courses. You are eligible to take admission for PhD in many Indian universities. And you can do certificate courses, post-qualification courses. There are a number of uh, courses which are available for developing our knowledge continuously. These are the prominent chartered accountants. Uh, uh, you, these uh, are, all key people and uh, very few know that Mr. Kumar Manglam Birra is also an Indian chartered accountant. And uh, these are the people who have made a significant difference. We are living in the world where we have a significant, we pay significant attention to what's happening in the stock market. There are a lot of IPOs which are going and uh, CA Rakesh Junjunwala is the most famous investor. Everyone knows about it. He's also a chartered accountant uh, by education. These are some of the quotes from distinguished leaders on, uh, on uh, our profession. And for a chartered accountancy, you don't need to be someone who has access to the best of resources. Anyone, anywhere can become an Indian chartered accountant. I will stop uh, sharing. Uh, before I stop sharing this last slide that we play a pivotal role in building a great nation. And I hope you are ready for it. These are the details which are my details available. You, if you have any questions anytime, you can connect with me. You can connect with our office, which is in Dubai Knowledge Park. The number and email ID is given here, and we will be very happy to answer any queries you may have. I would like to mention that, uh, apart from Mr. C.A. Dinesh Kodhariji, I also saw that uh, uh, C.A. Govind Rao Nayak, who has recently taken over as CEO of JSS uh, schools here in UAE. Uh, he was also present here and I addressed you just few days back 200 students in JSS private school. And I'm very happy why I'm sharing this fact because it's an Indian chartered accountant who has set his foray on leading JSS group here in UAE. So I extend my hearty thanks once again for uh, Dubai chapter for this opportunity. And uh, uh, I hope uh, that you all will have a great career. Always remember that do not take shortcuts, go for the best of education, because if you will not learn when you are young, it may become very tough to learn when you are old. Thank you so much and over to Hari Krishna. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bhavida, many thanks uh, for sharing your uh, like uh, thoughts and uh, various uh, career paths available for chartered accountants. As you mentioned, rightly mentioned, communication. Communication is not just uh, speaking, it is about listening as well. So we need to listen more than we speak and uh, then learning uh, new technologies, which you mentioned, artificial intelligence. And uh, uh, as a result of that, repetitive tasks will be automated. But uh, human creati creativity can't be replaced. So there will be an opportunity, uh, you know, in various uh, technology, technology sectors as well. And you also said your views for article training, industrial training, which is really uh, good. I think uh, you have given a lot of uh, information on this. And uh, now I would request our uh, members or students, I mean, if they have any question on uh, uh, chartered accountancy course, then they can raise their hand virtually and we can take them live. I think there are there some are, questions in the chat box also. Yeah, in the chat box, uh, we can take few questions as well. Uh, just a minute.
Yeah, uh, Bhumika Gupta is asking, uh, is it possible for any student with PCM stream in 12, 11th and 12th stream, can they pursue CA? Uh, yes, uh, uh, they can pursue because they have to anyways give a entrance examination. It may be uh, initially they may have to spend a little time in understanding accounting, but we have large number of uh, students who pursue after taking science in 12. And many, uh, I think some of the members are present here and we have many examples of uh, members who studied uh, graduation, science graduation, and then they went on to become a chartered accountant. Yeah, so they thank you. Thank you. Devraj Mahesh is asking, uh, is the CA course good for doing a career in the stock market? Uh, so maybe you can throw some light on that as well. Uh, see, uh, initially, uh, for, uh, a for a student, it's important to start with a very good course. Uh, so uh, ideally, the best course in the chartered, uh, in the commerce stream is chartered accountancy, which can be from any country, not only from India. Uh, after you have uh, set as a base as a chartered accountant, you can go for a CFA or other available courses, which may help you to uh, become an expert in the stock market. But it's always uh, essential that you start with a strong course. Yeah, yeah. as uh, rightly mentioned by, I think, Bhavija Sabi mentioned about Ra CA Rakesh Junjunwala. Uh, the, there is like there are few other prominent uh, stock brokers in the in Bombay in the stock uh, market. Uh, C A Motilal Joswal uh, Oswal, C A Anand Rathi, and there are many more which I know. But uh, I just want to highlight on those two, uh, uh, which are very famous. And uh, now there is one question on the like: uh, uh, Is it possible that we have system of C A inter plus additional courses like fraud detection or other specifically designed for the semi qualified C A? Uh, right now, uh, these courses are only a post-qualification courses. Maybe in the future, if the things change and it's required to change, then we can think about it. But as of now, those courses are not. Okay. From, uh, from the institute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Palak Chawla is asking, is there any coaching class for CA Foundation in Dubai? And what books we can refer for the exam? Uh, for CA Foundation, uh, you know, it's a personal choice, but the study material of uh, ICI is, is sufficient. And uh, our office in Dubai uh, conducts a batch of coaching for uh, those who appear in November. Uh, because uh, those in November, because there have been very few students who have been appearing just after two months of, quality, uh, of appearing in the 12th standard, and it's available if you are available. Okay, so thank you. Uh, Liana Rias is asking, is doing BCom along with CA or after completing CA intermediate, which one is recommended? It's a personal choice, but ideally, I believe that most of the students go for a correspondence uh, graduation along with doing the chartered accountancy. And it's better to uh, do it simultaneously than wait uh, for completing intermediate because uh, most of the places it's not very difficult to manage. So it's a personal choice, but uh, uh, most of the people, uh, most of the students uh, do their graduation along with the chartered accountants okay. as a colleague. Okay. And uh, th there is one uh, student I think asking, uh, how about the average salary for a chartered accountant in Dubai? Uh, fresh chartered accountant. I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, for uh, a fresh chartered accountant, uh, it depends upon organization to organization. And sometimes some of the students are ready to, uh, some of the chartered accountants are ready to work at a less salary. But most of the places, um, the fresh chartered accountants, uh, the uh, fresh chartered accountant does get between 7,000 to 10,000 dirhams as a fresher. And then it depends upon our growth and our capabilities to further uh, grow in the organization and on more. Uh, okay. Harisa, what I suggest, uh, we have many questions, uh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, uh, I, we would uh, prefer that uh, our speakers uh, address uh, and motivate the students. Then yeah, after yeah. the end of the mm -hmm. session, we can take more questions. Yeah, if we have the time, then we will take the questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Bhavita Saab. Now I will request uh, Jawan to share the certificate of appreciation for Mr. Uh, Mr. Bhavita, uh, just as a token of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter. Thank yes, you, Bhavita Saab. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. I will uh, send you this email, uh, this certificate. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I think... Uh, uh, our next, I will introduce our next speaker, CA Hanumanta Kumar. Uh, Hanumanta Kumar is a chartered accountant having professional experience for more than two decades and out of which he is already in 21 years in Dubai. And he is the past chairman of Dubai chapter of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, Dubai chapter. And he is the youngest, one of the youngest chairmen uh, in 2009-10 at the age of like 38 years in the history of the chapter. And uh, just for your information, ICI Dubai chapter is the largest chapter outside India with approximately 3,000 members based in Dubai. And Mr. Anumanta Kumar was always an instrumental in, change, in changing the constitution of the chapter and he led a lot of automation projects successfully in a record time of four months. Uh, he has addressed on several te technical topics on VAT, excise, AML, ESR, CBCR and transfer pricing to various uh, professional and business forums. Uh, now, I would like to request to see Hanumanta Kumar to address our members and students. Over to you, Mr. Hanumanta. Hanumanta, sir, you are on mute. You have to unmute yourself. Thank you, Hanumanta, for the introduction. Uh, thanks to the... Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. Thanks to the uh, chapter for giving this opportunity. Sundar, uh, Anurag, thanks to all of you. Let me just share a brief presentation uh, so that uh, so the time allowed to be is uh, around 10 minutes. Is it uh, visible? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to be uh, speaking in particular about the opportunities in the consulting side. However, I will also, you know, run through some of the points that uh, I, I feel like sharing with the students to encourage them to uh, join with the CA, uh, CA Institute. So today, if you look at, uh, you know, most respected professions in the world, okay, definitely a chartered accountant is there in addition to scientists, doctors, architects, lawyers, you know, then athletics, firefighters, police officers, artists, professors, nurses, and uh, top paid, uh, Professionals again includes, uh, you know, chartered accountants. In addition to, uh, you know, uh, technology specialists, uh, medical professionals, scientists, investment bankers, lawyers, and other professionals. So, why CA? It could be any CAs. Uh, it could be a CA from, uh, you know, US. It could be a CA from UK. It could be a CA from uh, India or Australia, Malaysia, anywhere. But how Indian chartered accountants have an edge over others, I'll cover it. So one is, uh, even in Dubai, uh, I know most of the um, large companies, uh, forget about CFO, even the CEOs are Indian chartered accountants. The One of the main reason is because of the trust that they have on Indian chartered accountants. There are other, other chartered accounts are there, but most of the you know, finance is taken care of by them, operations are taken care of by them. So we are considered as one of the most trusted advisors in terms of compliances, in terms of taxation, in terms of consulting, or in terms of taking care of the money part also. Globally, you know, CAs are you know, the bridge between the government and the taxpayers and the economy in general. And uh, this is the only course which is affordable to many in the uh, previous presentation, Prabhdeep has showed even an auto driver's daughter could able to do the CA. So immense demand across the world. And uh, even in Dubai or UAE, I have not come across any CAs who are not having a job for a long term. Okay. Immediately they will get placed as the uh, Prabhdeep was mentioning anywhere between seven to ten thousand. Any fresh child will be placed with experience. They'll get more. And people who doesn't want to get into the employment is a very uh, easy to become an entrepreneur 
and start CA practice as well. And lately, uh, as I mentioned, CAs are preferred for the roles of CEOs because they have a you know mix of uh, both commercial as well as the financials. End of the day, whatever you do in the business, it has to translate in numbers. It has to translate in, into some financial monetary things for which CAs are uh, you know recognized. List will go on. And uh, general perception about CA's passing is very difficult. Uh, obviously, CA doesn't want to you know, um, give a huge number because they don't want to compromise on the quality. That's why today Indian CA's are well respected uh, in terms of their quality. But an average uh, 10 to 15% uh, of uh, the people who are attending the examinations are passing out. Compared to you know, ACCA and CPA and other people, where the passing percentage is high, but in terms of depth of the knowledge and in terms of uh, even the remuneration part, compared with the fresh CAs, uh, you know, uh, fresh CAs are given more importance and uh, they are paid more. In particular, on consulting, you know, it could be various consulting, whether it's a tax consulting, whether it is a mergers and acquisition transaction advisory or a business advisory or on a risk advisory. All comes uh, you know, uh, broadly under the concept of uh, consulting part. And again, each under each consulting, there are a depth of the subjects where uh, you know, one can give advice or a practice. Today, you know, uh, the globally, the tax is becoming an important aspect. Even now, uh, last two, three years, we have seen uh, drastic changes in uh, uh, the uh, Arab environment with uh, VAT coming, uh, economic substance regulations coming. Some countries, they have withholding tax. So uh, CAs are one of the best uh, to uh, advise on that. And any acquisition or a merger or any transaction that is happening, right from uh, preparing the pitch document to preparing the budget, financial forecasting, advising on the buy side or the sell side, a due diligence process, preparations of uh, you know the basic agreements although the legal will be involved in terms of commercial i think uh, no one can be better than a chartered accountant in terms of business advisory what kind of a turnaround and restructuring solutions has to be given any operation in, uh, you know improvement and uh, you know formulating business plans these are all the uh, um, areas where chartered accounts are expert my uh, dear friend Naveen will be addressing on the internal audit. The risk advisory, uh, uh, you know, Indian chart accounts are good, especially in, uh, you know, UAE, what I've experienced is since it's a proprietary in nature, most of the, uh, you know, uh, corporates. So most of the internal auditors are headed by Indian chart accounts here. They add a lot of value. And uh, um, most of their, uh, you know, owners, uh, you know, advisors are, uh, very trusted people are Indian chartered accountants here. So uh, as a CA, you can either get into the practice or in industry, you have various roles to play. And uh, Indian chartered accountant, uh, many people in the UAE, I have, what I've come across among the students I've been interacting for the last uh, 15, 20 years, uh, people, Think that, uh, okay, if I do the CA, can I uh, work here or can I go to US, can I go to UK or can I go to Australia? Will my qualification is recognized? Of course, uh, every country will have their own regulations. Here, you don't need to take another exam. Our uh, Indian qualification is recognized. Whereas when you go to you know Canada or US or anything, you know few papers have to be written because there is a memorandum of understanding between Institute of Chartered of India as well as several institutes like CPA Canada, Institute of uh, you know, Chartered Accounts in England and Wales, Ireland, CPA Australia, Malaysia, South Africa. This is an ongoing exercise that Institute of Chartered Accounts of India is doing. So in terms of, uh, you know, I've, I've seen the uh, syllabus of all these uh, um, you know, institutes also. Our, I can, you know, proudly say that uh, the Indian chartered accountant, the depth of the knowledge is very, very high. That's why you see the percentage is less, but the moment they come out, the opportunities are immense for them. 
I mean, again, uh, Pradeep has covered. Chartered accountants doesn't mean that they get restricted only to the you know CFO or a, you know finance or a finance manager or an internal auditor. There are many uh, businessmen been uh, you know produced. Kumar Mangalam Birla, Deepak Parekh is a chairman of STFC. Rakesh Junjunwala again is considered as uh, you know Warren Buffett of stock markets. T N Mr T N Manoharan, past chairman of Canara Bank, Mohandas Pai. The CFO of uh, Infosys, Hari Savle, many know him as uh, basically a, a lawyer. He's also a, a very leading chartered accountant. Then you have Naina Lal Kidwai, who is heading, uh, you know, HSBC in India. Chitra Ramakrishna, she is the CEO of uh, NSC. And not only business people and uh, professionals, they have produced even, you know. Uh, Politicians also, uh, C. A. Piyush Goel, C. A. Suresh Prabhu, C. A. Rahman Khan, who is to be the uh, you know uh, Rajya Sabha member. If you see Dr. Abdul Kalam's uh, comments, a uh, very powerful comment, they said that they are the partners you know in the nation building. Even the Modi has said that the signature of a chartered accountant is more important than the signature of a prime minister. Ratan Tata says. I need MBA for running my business, but CA to teach them how to run the business. And Kumar Mangalam Birla himself is a chartered accountant. His father, Aditya Birla ji, is a great admirer of uh, chartered accountants. Uh, in the Birla group, you will find most of the you know positions are headed by uh, Indian chartered accountants. He says it's just not a qualification; it's the pride and dignity of his life. So. Like uh, many other courses, have a, you know uh, there are no barriers to entry. Uh, I mean there are a lot of barriers to entry. Uh, Everest exit is easy. CA there are no barriers to entry. It's a very one of the cheapest course. But exit is uh, definitely a difficult thing. Not difficult for people who are very serious. So if you do a smart work, remain focused, be sincere and committed, and with a lot of perseverance, you should not give up. Okay, even if it is one time, two time fail, you should not give up. Then you know you will see a lot of success. So uh, with this, I conclude my uh, presentation. Over to Hari Kishan. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Anumanta Sir, for your for sharing your thoughts. And uh, <clears throat> now we would like to present a certificate of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter uh, to you. Just a minute. Yeah, John, can you share the certificate of appreciation? Thank you, Hermanto sir. Thank you. Thank you, Sundar ji. Sir, we will email you this uh, certificate of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much once again. And now our next speaker, C. A. Dinesh Kothari, will be addressing all our members and students. And he is the founder and chairman of Delhi Private School. And Delhi Private School is always our institutional partner and sponsors as well. And uh, Kothari Sahib is always supporting the chapter and providing their school venue for various ICI events and also supporting actually uh, various ICI initiatives as well. Now I would like to request our XCOM member, CA Jayaprakash Agarwal, to introduce CA Dinesh Kothari. Over to you, Jayaprakash. Thank you, Anandas. Uh, thank you, Hari Bhai. Uh, the next speaker, before I introduce, I want to quote something which I read for Buddha. Buddha once said, if you want to fly high, give up everything which weighs you down. Why I'm saying this quote is the perfect example of the live example our next speaker is, Mr. Dinesh Kothari. He's also a chartered accountant who has worked for Bukhater Investment Group in Sarja for 13 years and reached the position of CEO. After reaching there, what he did, he gave up everything, he weighed himself low, and then went for the need of quality education at affordable cost for the students like you. He was motivated and he embarked his journey for in the field of education, establishing Delhi Public School Jodhpur in India, which was a non-profit school in the memory of his late grandfather, Sri Sagun Chandra Kothari. After that, there was no stopping. He went on to create DPS Sarja, DPS Dubai, and now he has grown professionally as a leading entrepreneur. He is command, he has more than 10,000 students who are, uh, 
I mean, he has more than 10,000 students in these schools and have quality education imparted to them in these campuses. In year 2013, Mr. Kothadi opened Victory Heights Primary School, a British curriculum school in Dubai to engage and contribute a wider section of expats. The latest inclusion in his chain of school is another British curriculum secondary school, Southview School in Remara, which was opened in 2018. He's a patriot and he has been conferred pride of India by IBPC for contribution in the field of education. With the, and he has also been awarded Mother Teresa Award by Mother Teresa International Award Committee for excellence in the field of education. But what he's most proud of is the awards and recognition which you as a student bring to him. He loves poetry and he's a trustee of Ibadit Foundation. Mr. Dinesh Kothari, we will love to learn more about entrepreneurship and how after 13 years in Bukta, reaching CEO, what made you drop everything and fly high in education? Thank you, Jay. Uh, good evening, uh, all wonderful students. Good evening, uh, Sundarji, all my colleagues, fellow professionals. Uh, Jay has uh, said quite a lot uh, about me and uh, one thing I can be sure of, chartered accountants don't lie. So thank you very much for your introduction. I became chartered accountant more by design rather than by uh, planning. The difference is that my design of becoming chartered accountant was done by my parents. And uh, I did not choose to become a chartered accountant. They said that is the profession that I should go for. Because in the family, we had a few chartered accountants. And I can share with you today that the first gold medalist chartered accountant in, from Indian Institute of Chartered Accountants happens to be my uncle Sri S. Bandari Sal. So these were the motivators. <clears throat> the most important thing that uh, since we have uh, very specific issues and specific points to cover uh, and talk about, so I, I'll make it more conversation rather than uh, uh, tell you exactly how it goes about. To me, Personally, this uh, profession of chartered accountant is not merely a profession to get a job, to make money. For me, it's a profession of perfection. And you can become chartered accountant if you're passionate about perfection. And the reason I say so is because uh, perfection means your trial balance must tally. There's no option. It has to be correct. It has to be pure. It has to be uh, truthful. And therefore it's a profession of perfection. It's a profession of uh, profession. I got into uh, CA. I started my career with ICICI in Mumbai when it was not a bank, when it was a development institution. And after a few years, uh, I got the opportunity to work in Sharjah with Bukhatri Group, as Jay mentioned, and I served him for 13 years. But the best service I have is my last 22 years. Ever since I've been serving you students, Nothing has been more satisfying. Because when I interact with you, when I talk to you in school, when I meet you in different places where you have moved on in life, they become my biggest reward. And what helped me in running my schools well, being a professional chartered accountant was because a CA always has the nerve in the hand of any business. Any business that you run, you have to know its balance sheet. It's like a heart. When you look in the balance sheet, you know exactly which the, where the organization is going, where are the areas of weakness, and which are the areas of strength. So in transformation, what helps is you build on your areas of strength and the areas of weakness which you come to know, then you also work on them to eradicate them, to remove them. And that's what this profession has taught me. I have been able to analyze. I was not a, uh, I'm not a teacher. I didn't come from the background of uh, running schools from family or whatever it is. But very soon, the common sense which accounting profession gave uh, to me and which I was able to learn, I was able to analyze every problem. The biggest quality a chartered accountant gets in his professional career is ability to analyze things and analyze them correctly, analyze them with data, analyze them with information. It's not intuitive. It is based on hard facts. And when you have hard facts in front of you, are able to run your opportunity of business extremely well. And that's what happened when I ran business. Every problem that came my way, because no business is without problems, and particularly business which you're learning for the first time. And this helped me a lot. I could sit with 
the principals of the school, other people, and understand exactly what it meant. See, at the end of the day, whatever business we do, leaving aside Jodhpur School, which is not for profit, but any other business that we do, bottom line is, what are we going to make? Does it make economic sense? Does it tally your return on, does it match your IRR? Does it meet your targets? Does it uh, help you in achieving what you set out to be? And the best person or the best profession which can lead you to analyze that and reach that conclusion is chartered accountancy where you can analyze every number, when you can analyze every problem, and then you can move on from there. As we uh, heard uh, in the earlier presentation, Aditya Birla Group had a passion for chartered accountants and that is demonstrated by the fact uh, that every his own son was a CA from India. I had the honor of serving on the board of Indocal Fertilizer for eight years and uh, interact with Aditya Babu. And let me tell you, every or big organization of his, the Indian Rayon, Rasim, Indocal Fertilizer, or Aluminium Company, all the CEOs of Aditya Birla Group Company were chartered accountants. His faith in Indian chartered accountant was impeccable because he always believed that when you have somebody of integrity and there's nobody of bigger integrity than an Indian chartered accountant, he allowed those organizations headed by them because he had the belief that technology you could buy, integrity came with the profession. And this is what this profession brought. And that's why the professional chartered accountants have commanded respects in UAE. After all, the fact Dubai has 3,000 members, and I'm sure there are another 500 who have not yet joined. The fact a city like Dubai can have 3,500 Indian chartered accountants is a reflection of the fact that this profession is highly respected. Indian chartered accounts are highly respected. And I can tell you, students, that uh, I came from your background, where I was confused at your age. What would I do? Why should I become a chartered accountant? I was very confused. And there was a belief that uh, if you're a brilliant student, you must be a science student. And if you're less a brilliant student, you become a commerce student. But I can tell you today, there are more chartered accountants of higher brilliance and reaching greater heights and employing more non-chartered accountants under them is purely because they are able to see the business through with very great clarity. They, they know exactly what's happening and that's what makes them better than their professions. And uh, as I said, my parents designed my uh, career path to become a chartered accountant. And the only thing I can say is I'm ever so grateful for this. I'm ever so grateful that they chose the profession for me, which brought me where I am today. And the biggest advantage is that I have able, ability to not only serve you, but interact with you. I make a point with at least once or twice a year, I speak to the students in the school and I share my, whatever knowledge I have or whatever experience I have. But most importantly, the amount of things that I learned from them in every conversation is impeccable, is unimaginable. The students of today are so knowledgeable. The difference is like Pradeep was saying that Google gives a lot of information. That is true. It gives a lot of information very correctly, as he said, but the knowledge conversion happens from a profession. And our profession, chartered accountancy profession, converts that knowledge into, uh, that information into knowledge, and that knowledge translates into profit and loss account. And that's where every organization stands. So as Ratan Tata said very correctly, MBAs might be running business, but CS tell them how to run the business because they, point out on every point where they're right and where they're not right. The wisdom is not knowing in what is right. The wisdom is really knowing what is not right. And that's what the auditing does. It brings out the areas which are not correct. It also comes out with solutions. It's not only that we find uh, areas of defect and faults. We as chartered accountants also come out with areas of solution. This is a problem. That's the alternative. That's the solution. So any business you wish to transform, into pro at the end of the day, transformation means what? It means your bottom line is better, your profitability is better, efficiency is better, and there is a cohesiveness amongst everyone. And this is what this profession does, that you are able to see, because you see inside, you see the heart of the organization. So I think this is a, a fabulous profession, and uh, I can put my hand on my heart and say 
if I had to get make my grandchild a chartered accountant, that's exactly what I like to do. Because I can see the career path. This is a profession which has multifarious uh, facets of uh, employability. You can be in service, you can be a consultant, you can uh, run your own practice, you can run your own business. I mean, there are so many businessmen that we have today and they run their business better because they are uh, more analytical and they have CA also teaches us something which is important that we are able to empower people who work with us. That's what we learned in our practice. After all, when we began, we were an audit clerk, uh, an article clerk in a uh, CA firm. The first thing that we got from our principal was empowerment, that we could go and check the thing and raise objections on those things. So I think this is one uh, profession which I would uh, uh, seriously suggest to the youth that they must think of. And uh, not only it helps in uh, your career path, I think it will be great service to uh, uh, the next generation. It will be great service to the country. Technology will come and go, but the balance sheet will stay. Technology may replace certain employment and certain jobs, but they can't replace balance sheet. And that's where we are going to stay. And we're going to stay have a long, long time. So, uh, I mean, this is one area we can talk endlessly. Uh, and the most important thing that generally there's an impression that CAs are a little boring. Uh, let me tell you is something habit that you cultivate. And I cultivated habit of reading and poetry. And uh, that has uh, brought a different aspect of life because it's important that we also do things which are a uh, little different than a routine mundane profession, any profession, whether you're a doctor or you're an engineer or a chartered accountant, it's important that uh, we all uh, gradually uh, cultivate certain habits. Could be sports, could be music, could be anything. It's important that for your frame of mind uh, to grow in different directions, cultivate certain habits. And that's what I would like to tell the youth. You guys are so fortunate. There's a digital reading books. There are uh, digital libraries available around the world. Please get into the habit of reading little different than only your textbooks. There's something life beyond uh, accountants in audit and statistics and income tax. And that's where the knowledge will help you to really uh, take you to a different level. And the knowledge of non-subject makes you a complete person. And nobody can do it better than chartered accountant. And uh, all I can say uh, once again that uh, I'm so grateful that uh, I've had the opportunity of for 22 years serving students and uh, I have today had the opportunity of talking to them uh, through this medium of our institute chapter and uh, huge congratulations to our chapter for bringing out something so wonderful. Uh, and I think we should do this more often that we should talk to the youth because when we talk to our youth, when we talk to young boys and girls, we are basically securing our future. This generation's role by talking to the youth is to make sure that our tomorrow is better, our tomorrow is safer, our to tomorrow is more informed and better informed. Therefore, uh, uh, Sundar Saab, and now next uh, team, which is going to take over. This is one request that I like to make. Please have more interactive sessions with the younger generation, because this is what, not only we can share with them, we can learn so much from them. Every question you notice what they've asked is so, you know, pointed, they want, they want to know. And when they ask a question, in fact, basically it tells us that what we don't know and what we should know. So uh, uh, please have these more sessions. And once again, heartiest congratulations to all of you. And students, I can only tell you one thing, that this is one profession which can take you to different heights and different directions. It does not have only one. An engineer, civil engineer only knows how to build a building. A uh, mechanical engineer don't want to do, make cars or something else, but IT engineer knows how to work in a software company or IT hardware. A chartered accountant work, work across the industry, all organizations, the same efficiency and same knowledge. So this is a great profession. So, uh, and it helps uh, definitely in motivation and it helps us in our development of our business in different direction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Kotari Saab, uh, many thanks for sharing your thoughts and uh, success journey with our members and students. 
Uh, now I would like to request our chairman to present a certificate of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter to Kotari sir. Thank you, Kotari sir. We also want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Dr. Chitra Raghavan uh, from DPS. Uh, and we have been getting a lot of support, support uh, from uh, students uh, and, you know, from the uh, management team of uh, DPS group. Uh, and uh, Kotari sir, I mean, it's an eye-opener for all of us. Uh, thank you for suggesting that such kind of interaction should happen more. Point noted, and we will ensure that, uh, you know, at least uh, on a, a periodic basis, we continue with uh, interaction with the student so that uh, we can secure our future also. Thank you, Kotari sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, now, our next speaker, CA James Matthew, will be addressing our members and students. And he's our past chairman and his firm, UHY James, is our platinum sponsor as well. And now I would like to request our ex firm member, CA Manoharan Palarichal, to introduce CA James Matthew. Over to you. Manu, you are mute. Uh, can you? Yeah. Still on, you are on mute, sir. Yeah, hope now it's fine. Yes. Thank you so much, CA Hari Kishu. Uh, dear students, good evening to everyone. First of all, I would like to appreciate you for joining in large numbers to listen on this topic to craft your future. Some of you, you some of you might have heard of this profession CA earlier, and some of you might have heard of this profession first time today. Just to introduce myself, I'm a chartered accountant by profession. Similar to our chairman Sundar Nurani spoke at the beginning of the session, I also come from a small village in Kerala. During my school days, I have never heard of CA course. I completed my BSc physics and then joined for CA. This happened because there was no proper career guidance at that period where I studied. You all are lucky. You are in one of the large cities in the world. You can get all information about any professional course on your fingertip. And moreover, you get career guidance from experts like this. Use this opportunity maximum. Coming back to my journey, I studied in Chennai, worked in Mumbai, and started my CEO firm called Emirates Chartered Accountants Group in Dubai around 15 years back. Today, my responsibility is to introduce uh, another speaker to you. He is a passionate professional, an inspiring leader, and a successful entrepreneur. He is none other than CA James Matthew. Honestly, he doesn't need an introduction to the professional and business community in the UAE. However, for the benefit of our young future professionals, I would like to introduce him in brief words. CA James Matthew is a chartered accountant from India and a CPA from USA. He started his career in Dubai in the year 1992. He possesses a spontaneous impressive and a successful career trajectory. He progressed the ladder of leadership up to the position the group CEO for the UA and Oman operations of a leading audit firm in the GCC. And by the end of the year 2019, James achieved yet another milestone in his entrepreneurial journey. He established UHY James Chartered Accountants in Dubai. He was shortlisted as one among the super hundred business leaders in the Middle East and Africa region. He was awarded for leadership excellence by the World Malayali Council in 2015. Dear friends, he holds many leadership positions. Some of them are, he served as board member of Indian Business and Professional Council called IBPC, board member of Crow Global, uh, headquartered in New York, USA. He was the past chairman of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India chapter in 2013, elected as general secretary of the board of Dubai Quality Group. Dears, whenever I see James, I remember a famous quote. The pessimist complains about the wind, 
the optimist expects it to change but the leader adjusts the sails james leadership quality is that dear students you are lucky to have him on board today let us hear from him on the topic the importance of audit and how cas contributed over to you hari sir uh, hari krishan sir uh, if you permit i can just uh, need to say one, one or two lines yes sir uh, in fact uh, some of the students were wondering whether they can do uh, chartered accountancy after you know i mean doing the physics and math so manu is apt example he did his bsc in physics then he came to uh, the profession then another one is you know i understand that james is from uh, he, uh, he 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 schooling was done in signing school uh, right no james so yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. so he, even afterwards also he was uh, he he became a chartered accountant so there is no barrier for this one you know i have done science i can't become a ca i have done uh, signing schooling or rb training i can't become a ca nothing like that so i just want to bring it to your attention this uh, topic thank you over to your education sir thank you sir i think uh, now james can take over sir over to you good evening um, icai leadership sundar sahab all the students all my fellow colleagues panelists good evening to all of you um i'm, I'm extremely pleased to have our members uh, of account aspiring young minds who are wanting to do ca profession uh, manu has been kind enough to add a few things is exactly i come from a city calicut which is a second tier city uh, where 35 of 37 years back no one actually knew about ca as kothari ji said you know he was designed but you know because jodhpur jaipur you find lot of chartered accountants because it's you know chartered accountancy is in their blood and some of the brightest cas are from uh, and all the rank holders are come from jaipur and jodhpur so uh, we are aware but not like uh, calicut city where you know we had um, uh, i would say this share this with you uh, which manu has sent um, until um, i joined uh, i mean um, after the 12th class like everybody you know they, we all went for uh, uh, doing an bachelor's degree uh, but we were not told about what you, what is ca we were not told about anything so in the first year and second year to my surprise to everybody's surprise in bsc mathematics i scored 100% in mathematics and statistics uh, consecutively and only one person from the college and that's when my maths professor came up to me and told me that there is something called a chartered accountancy and i would say that uh, you know exactly my second year end of my second year i came to know about a ca so you guys are lucky that you know at this age we are at your uh, you know uh, you know 10th and 11th standard students the icai is bringing you such sessions whereby you get yourself educated on it so uh, i'll just i have a few things most of the things have been told by my previous colleagues and pradeep but i thought still i'll share a few uh, few things for you so um, uh, as i told you i'll just run you through a career how a ca career helps in overall developments um i'll i'll be running quite fast here just somebody asked me uh in the chat that you know that uh, how the, what is the salary here so here is what exactly almost in line with what pradeep said you know chartered accountant fresh chartered accountant earns around 8900 uh, uh, dirhams whereas a engineer uh, earns 6500 this is a fresh chartered accountant and 9200 uh, you know per month is a is a doctor and if you go back and see you know a doctor spends you know if you are an nri or if you want to go and do a doc a course how many lakhs and crores you will have to do and how many years you have to slog where mbbs you know basically after you doing just a basic mbbs you will have to go and do a maybe a specialization it's a you know i did my ca and i settled in early 92 93 with the job but who those who went for the mbbs and other profession they went on for another i think 94 95 96 they get married they they settle down so it's not that everybody goes for specialization but then at the end of the day the profession you know gets that value after qualifying a certain this one so i just wanted but whereas the ca is concerned you know um, initially a few years back i remember one of our chair past president saying 
40,000 Indian rupees. That might be the school fees. I mean, the, the tuition, not the tuition fees, is by the registration exam fees. Pradeep would definitely add more value here. I'm sure going forward, there are, I mean, this is a profession which uh, does not require so much of money investment. ICI, second largest accounting body, you know, uh, no reservations, and will four lakh students appear for exams. Uh, we have 327,000 members. UAE, as said, Dinesh Kotariji said, you know, 500 more. I think the number of chartered accountants in the UAE is around 7,500 to 8,000 CAs because we have got Abu Dhabi chapter, we've got Ras Khaimah chapter, we've got Fujairah chapter, and so many members who are not part of our, 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 our uh, you know, chapter here. So um, ICAI has done an incredible job in ensuring students can sign up for a chartered accountancy course, you know, right after 11th and 12th grade. I think, um, you know, so much has been told about the profession. I don't want to repeat the same thing. I'll move on with uh, some basic things, uh, how importance of audit and how CS contribute. I like the wording of Mr. Dinesh Ji that technology will come and go, but balance sheets will stay. So this is where I think my job is all about telling you about, you know, um, what is audit all about? Um, this is, you know, financial audits give regulators, investors, directors, who are called the stakeholders, a reasonable assurance of what is happening inside the company. Because this is an independent uh, review. Because as a management, you know, um, you know, they wouldn't want, they don't want to give an attest. You know, it is the chartered accountant is an independent auditor who just gives and it helps them achieve, as auditors help them achieve to know better compliance better reporting, accuracy in the profit determination. There are quite a few things which are lined up when you, when you look at an attest function or an audit function. So what do you get? Uh, you know, I'm sure that you guys are a 9, 10th, 11th standard. You would have heard about balance sheets, uh, audited accounts. Um, you know, so in a, in a typically in an audit balance sheets, you would have profit and loss account, balance sheet, cash flow statements, statement of equity, not to the financial statements. I'm sure some of you had, you know, would be doing, you know, commerce, they would have definitely known about it. So it also gives you an insights into how a company does a gross profit, how many days time within which the money is collected, you know, because it gives you a snapshot of the company's financial position. So it's, it also, uh, you know, uses used as a decision-making tool. Um, who uses the financial reporting? financial audit reports. Uh, basically, you know, we have, you know, today in the UAE, we have got around 700,000 companies. I'll talk more from the UAE angle. Uh, most of these companies, maybe around 80, 75 to 80% of the companies are small and medium-sized enterprises. There are quite a few 160 plus listed companies here. So uh, all these companies, you know, if they approach for a, you know, bank institution, financial institution for a loan or anything of that sort, you obviously need a balance sheet. So they all rely the independent audit reports. So, so it's the case with any investor who is coming into the business, any entrepreneurs, shareholders, every key decision makers in an organization would definitely look at the audit reports. Values and strength of an auditor. Uh, I would obviously say that, you know, confidentiality because you are dealing with numbers, you are previewing the books of so many of your companies as an auditor, you would have so much of information about a company. So this confidentiality is more more important than anything else. Independence, independence again is basically nothing but you know, you are independent, you do not have any conflict. If the organization belongs to me, if I, if I have some related party or if you know, I'm sure you would have heard about this one, but uh, uh, any sort of thing really, any, any sort of conflict would uh, definitely affect your independence, ethics, you know, professional and personal capacity as auditors, we are supposed to have the highest ethics and uh, knowledge of your business, how you can add value to your clients and customers is basically, if you know the business, then you are definitely able to add value here. And, uh, and I will just have move into the, you know, uh, talk about uh, something which is, is one of the toughest exams. Uh, you know, CA stands for Chartered Accountants and not standing for to come again, because people sometimes say the CA is come again because you have to write exams you know, again and again. And Bhanamant talked about the exit and entry barriers. 
But once you qualify the exam, I think it's a cakewalk for all of you for any other exam. I remember, um, you know, in one of the batches uh, when we were doing CPA exam, there were around uh, out of a batch of 32 or 33 people who were writing the CPA exam, uh, 19 were Indian CAs. And uh, um, I can recall that all the 19 qualified a CPA at the first attempt. And maybe, you know, I think two or three from the other batch, other remaining people. So I just wanted to say CA is a tough exam. Indian CA is a tough exam. At the end of the day, basically, if you if other other exams are going to be easier as well. And uh, once after you have successfully qualified, you know, the, the learning never stops because you, even during this time, pandemic time, you know, when we as auditors, we have to verify the stocks, independently audit, go to the office, go to the client's place and do audits. But then, you know, the lockdown, there were so many things, so many challenges which came in the way for, uh, uh, for so the technology has come in a big way, handy for chartered accountants. So learning is something which never stops. Um, and plus, you know, in any profession, I just want to leave you with this thought, any profession you will find, be it doctor, be it engineer, be a child accountant, some are successful, some are uh, very successful, some are mediocre, you know, but I would just want to share with you that uh, if you can walk the extra mile and there is success for whichever profession you are. And uh, having said this one, uh, I just want to thank um, everybody, ICAI leadership for giving me this opportunity as one of the past chairman of ICAI, the Y chapter here and plus someone who has successfully completed, I would, uh, you know, for 30 plus years in the UAE and thanks to this country. And this place is a uh, amazing opportunity to, uh, to, to, to just to uh, give you also a one 30 seconds more, um, you know, as employers here, you know, we definitely look for people who understand the market, who understand the, you know, who has, who knows this place. So if a chart account, and many have been asking in the chat that, uh, you know, how do you train yourself? Can anybody from India can come and train? I think you must speak to Prabhdeep. There are lots of opportunities. There are a lot of people who are coming from India. They are doing, you know, you know, articleship training here. He discussed about, he detailed all of those details given there. So I uh, just wanted to thank you, um, Sundar Sahib, and all of you uh, as, uh, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you once again. Yes, you're on mute. Yeah. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jain, sir. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts and enlightening our uh, CA students and aspiring CA students for audit uh, industry. Uh, now, I would like to request our chairman to present a certificate of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter. Uh, Joan, can you share the certificate of appreciation? Thank you, Jain, sir. Thank you, Jain, sir. And uh, I mean, if anyone has got any further doubts, you know, I mean, if you want to approach uh, Mr. James, Mr. Kothari Saab, we are all here. Uh, we can direct you towards them. So if, if your questions are not getting answered in this forum, don't worry, we are running late. But having said that, considering the interest, wider implications uh, of this uh, delivery of the session, we are planning ahead uh, to extend uh, by a couple of minutes more. So please stay with us and definitely you will uh, cherish this wonderful experience of listening from our great speakers and, you know, past chairman. Thank you all. Thank you, James. Sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sundar sir. Uh, and thank you, James. Sir, once again, uh, now I uh, now I will introduce our next speaker, CA Naveen Sarma. Naveen Sarma is working as a director of internal audit in OSS investment company, Al Siravi Group. He is a multifaceted and multi-talented professional. He is in Dubai for the last 23 years, and he is among one of the among uh, first chartered accountant in the UAE to receive golden visa. And at present, he is the head of accounting, auditing, and advisory AAA focus group of Indian Business and Professional Council. He is also the president of Rajasthan Business and Professional Group. Uh, he is the honorable cultural event secretary and board member of India Club. Uh, he is also the past president of Indian Chartered Accountant Toastmaster Club, ICAT. And he is also a renowned and uh, pro prolific speaker and a gifted orator and speaks on wide variety of topics ranging from complex subjects like taxes and to new trends in technology like AI. He has recently uh, spoken on uh, uh, cryptos as well. And he's a runner and does the Yoga Delhi. 
and he's all uh, he's an avid bollywood lover and always loves adventure traveling and also singing is his great passion so i without to wasting much time i would like to request to see navin sharma to address our students over to you sir thank you thank you hari thank you for such a lovely and elaborate uh, arubla introduction and the first thing uh, i think i have not mentioned and uh, it is forgotten but i will tell you one day our past chairman uh, shri g r mehta ji called me it was the year 2003 i think mr james is aware that uh, our institute icai uh, is opening a branch and i used to study a lot during those days i was doing cpa and then pursuing cfa and cisa he said i mean can you uh, take the class for the student and i said that teaching is my passion this is what i am doing other than my job and i took the first class in the icai knowledge village that was the year uh, february 2004 and it was continued till uh, the james was uh, the chairman till 2010 so i was enjoying sometime taking accounting class sometime fm class sometime uh, you know that the income tax uh, i i am from jaipur as a Uh, Jaipur or Jodhpur, Kothari Sahib said, and uh, Hanuman James also shared. There is a lot of chartered accountants are coming. For me, when I was born, it was decided that I have to do the CA. So I have no confusion because my father was Commissioner of Income Tax. He was ITO popularly known, and I grew up in the income tax colony. So I knew that I have to do CA. So I have not confused myself throughout my life. I passed my CA, and uh, of course, and This is a tradition. You will see a class of a small city like Bihar, Pali, and uh, next time you will see that in Jaipur, Chennai, and Mumbai. I I love the profession, and I I just want to share few things uh, to the student because about the profession, Pradeep has shared a lot. He is very knowledgeable. Uh, so as our chairman and past chairman, and of course Kothari Sir, uh, who has done multiple, who has mentored so many, so many of us. and still devoting time for the education as time is limited so i will directly come to the takeaways with the students uh, if you feel you can take first of all now when i did my ca in 1990 and today after 31 years things have changed completely today uh, no one is teaching the bitcoins or uh, cryptocurrencies in the in the syllabus now the market has crossed 3 trillion dollars the so things are changing so fast that if you rely on the basic education of 30 years back 35 years back you will not be able to serve your organization you will not be able to have your career i can see a lot of uh, students are asking about how much money they can make i can tell you based on your one study organized study like even if it is ca even if it's cs uh you will not be able to sustain beyond 10 and 15 years time then you have to reinvent the wheel you have to study a lot so the the take away is that continuous education is the key like mr james has mentioned about uh, the medical profession now our profession is also changing because of the technology because of the globalization things are changing much faster than what we can think about like the global income tax is coming uh, the we can say the uh, oecd has come out with so many things i am sure that 99% of us are not aware about it so when you commit for a profession you commit your life and commit for the lifelong learning that way your mindset will be to grow and you will be able to uh, grasp the things faster second thing uh, which is very very important is that the ca profession is the only profession in the world i can say which is very cost effective at the same time you can have a career in different field like we can see mr sundar he is a partner with deloitte mr james started with the entrepreneur mr kothari he started as uh, as uh, as working in a company now he ha- he is the entrepreneur he is giving back to the society mr pradeep is serving the profession mr amit khetan he is an industrialist mr hanmant he was he was with the industry now he is helping the industry to grow and then i will give my example i am working in a, in a group 
call which has more than 30 companies in a very diversified field. So the kind of work satisfaction you will get here, you will not get anywhere else. So this is a profession where you, you, are, you have a choice where you want to work. You, you can be your own boss or you can, you can work in different fields. Uh, investment is open, accounting is open, advisory is open, entrepreneurship is open. And nowadays, uh, I always say a company worth calling a company needs a chartered accountant. So finding a company which uh, is not employing a CA is very difficult. And now you can see even the artist, uh, if you will say uh, Shekhar uh, Kapoor is a chartered accountant. India Today, uh, Dr. Aman, uh, Dr. Arun Puri is a chartered accountant. Even Lokhandwala Builders is a chartered accountant. So the very basic uh, about the finance, which we will learn from the CA course in three years time, will be always with you. And one more advantage, which I can see more and more is coming is your alumni. The, every single city in the world has a chartered accountant. Every single city I'm saying, if you go to Malaysia, if you go to Sydney, if you go to America, you will feel that you can go to a chapter we are all connected with the global chapter. So when you are taking a degree, say if you, are, if you want to be an engineer, finding your college people is very difficult, but finding a chartered accountant in India and abroad is very easy. So the alumni which you will get today and the benefit of helping each other and the technology which is giving us this opportunity because the networking, helping each other, CSR activities, supporting each other, it is very, very easy. If I will give you, if I want to reach to anybody in Dubai or elsewhere, first I will see who is the auditor. Is there any chartered accountant? LinkedIn is, LinkedIn is, is available. Other than the benefits, uh, other than whatever is shared with you, this, this is the biggest advantage you will see. It's not available to any doctors. It's not available to any uh, engineers or any other prof or MBAs even, even for that matter. There is one degree so powerful in the world is the Indian Chartered Accountant, ICAI. And uh, we, we say that we are the second largest, but I can see the, it is the largest uh, as far as the association is concerned and the kind of learning which is taking place, like our leader, Sundar Nurani, the how many different subjects he has organized the meeting. It is un unimaginable. And uh, everybody is there to contribute and they are not only coming from the UAE, it is coming all over the world. So, you are joining a profession which has rich history. Kothari Saab has mentioned about the gold medalist. And uh, so from 1949 and before, you have the continuous education running and it's very active all over the world. And irrespect, like today you can see, you have the North Indians, South Indians, all religion of people, but we are known as a chartered accountant. So I encourage you to do go for it. Have a mindset for the growth. And I think enough is said, and I know that meeting is uh, is a longer, so I will I will not be taking much of your time. And I want to thank the chapter and and all, all of you for giving me the time uh, so that uh, I can improve myself and I, whatever I little I know, I'm sharing with you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Naviji, many thanks uh, for enlightening our students and aspiring students. Uh, about the technology and uh, I mean, at the end of the day, they have to change themselves and update with the latest technology. Um, as you rightly mentioned, uh, now I would like to request our chairman, C.S. Sundar Nurani to present the certificate of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter. Johan, can you please share the certificate of appreciation? Thank you, Naveen. So mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I would like to reiterate some of the points which is mentioned by Naveen ji. Uh, CA is the only course which has a very cost-effective course. Uh, there is no limit uh, for uh, starting, you know, anybody uh, without pain. If you, if you ask me, I am coming from a very uh, middle class uh, background, but uh, we don't need to have big investment. You need to have only one thing is hard work and perseverance. So thank you, Naveen Saab, for reminding students about it. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Johan, can you remove the certificate of appreciation? I will email it to you, Mr. Naveen Sarma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now our next speaker, CA Jaya Krishnan TV, will address our students and uh, aspiring students as well. Uh, he is partner of HLB Hemp and his firm is our platinum sponsors as well. Thank you very much, uh, Jaya Krishnan ji, uh, for sponsoring the ICI Dubai chapter. Now I would like to request our ex member, CA Amit Ketan, to introduce CA Jaya Krishnan TV. Thank you, sir. 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 Th
over to you amit uh thank you secretary sir uh, good evening everyone and dear students uh before i introduce the next speaker i just want to say a few words to you that whatever you do in your life just have passion for it as i can say it for myself that by profession i am a chartered accountant but by passion i am an entrepreneur and uh, i am not hesitant to say this that this passion i got from my profession that is chartered accountant and you would be surprised that i have started my entrepreneurial journey in the ua just after i qualified my ca and without having any business background or experience now i am in the managing partner in two companies as our uh, chairman said also that about the training and article ship this was the you know only practical experience which i was having so again i request all our uh, ca students that please take your article ship uh, seriously and at, at last always keep three d's in your life dream determination and destiny because if you will chase your dream with the determination then nobody can stop you to reach your destiny and don't limit yourself to the certain things you know give multi dimension uh, give multi dimension to your personality and profession and how to do that that's what is our next topic one degree multiple opportunities and to elaborate this topic let me introduce our next speaker ca jay krishnan tv without losing our uh, time ca jay krishnan is a partner in hlb hemp one of the leading audit and consulting firm in the ua and global network of accounting and audit firm having offices across the globe ca jay krishnan working with hlb hemp for more than two decades a person initially joined as auditor soon promoted to the various senior designations and then as partner he has become the member of institute chartered accountants of india in the year 99 and the member of cost and management accountants cma australia in the year 2010 jay krishnan heads the indirect taxes and business consulting divisions of hlb ham for the last 5 years and was engaged in audit and various other consulting segments in ua for more than 15 years previously he is a member of international leadership team of indirect taxes with hlb international and also served almost 500 plus clients in the ua he has attended various local and international conferences and seminars delivered presentations on various topics covering the tax audit and consulting services so please welcome ca jay krishnan tv over to you sir thank you amit for your detailed introduction about myself thank you sir i am jay krishnan i am i'm one of the partners of uh, hlb hamp hlb hamp is a, a, a company who do the the audit and and most of the management consultancy related services and uh, you know since i am the last speaker of today's even you know my job is more easier now because most of the points have been already covered by the previous the you know panelist and then but i will focus on on some of the area where you know i would like to uh, highlight for the aspirant students of ca so thank you so much for the ica committee members for inviting me to this uh, wonderful event uh, i qualified my ca in 1999 the, like manu was mentioning earlier and then james sir was mentioning i'm also from a village you know but in between james sir and then the manu uh, manu i was traveling around 110 kilometers in a day you know for my article ship uh, and then you know i passed my uh, exam in my on my 26th year of age and then i spent couple of years in india and then immediately i came to dubai hlb hamd and still i am continuing with hlb hamd for the last 20 plus years and in various designations like auditor you know consultant and then finally as a partner now i lead the taxation and then business consulting situation of uh, hlb hamd i would like to share uh, my screen but i will summarize it i don't think you know all the slides uh, is it visible yes sir you can maximize yes. the slide uh, is it so click on this uh, yeah click yeah, on yeah. that yeah yes click on that button is it clear yes, now sir. yeah 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 perfect 
yeah so my subject is one degree multiple opportunity mostly see these sessions are already been discussed i will just for the student purpose i will just highlight icai is a, it's a statutory body established by the act of parliament and then uh, again the the missing point was like the second largest professional body of chartered accountants in the world that was the point which uh, i wanted to highlight through this slide functions under the administrative control of the ministry of corporate affairs government of india and yeah. we know ca ca is simply chartered accountant there is no doubt about that but jokingly we used to say you know like if you add some spicy on that we used to you know get up with uh, say can do attitude and then challenge it achieve it certainly achievable you know these are the terminology which we used to use in in, in most of the day come again and uh, complete accountant computerized accountant etc so these are just I, i'm just adding you because you must have heard it in in your in your uh, most of your the newspapers and readings and and the social media and all and now being a tough course like the previous speakers mentioned ca is a tough course if you really wanted to be a ca you should have desire to do it that is very very important self belief and hard working mentality towards the objective and consistent learning and practice this was also mentioned by navin sharma earlier consistent learning and practice makes you a better ca now passing an exam is a tough process but after passing the exam consistently learning and practicing the 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 topics makes you a better ca and then as you know confidence increases upon every success that's for sure but one a ca but once you are a ca i felt that the confidence level has gone up and also the, the skill analytical skill is also important you know uh, thing which you normally gains during your your ca course hard working mindset and then perfection on everything you do you will be striving towards perfection on everything you do because you you have learned that in your ca curriculums now this has been discussed what ca course opens like ca course opens door for many opportunity self practice taking a job start own business you know these are the normal way uh, we we get opportunity self practice taking a job and starting own business if i go to uh, the the next slide i wanted to stress a point that you know technology revolution because the previous panelist was specifically mentioning technology is not all but i would add on that uh, though i don't argue with that but i would like to say that technology changes you know the profession a lot now that is what my experience the way we look the balance sheet now is totally changed balance sheet remains same but the way we look the balance sheet changed because of the technology implementations in, in most of the segments where we are involved in so unless as a ca student you should be able to understand that you know ca passing is not all passing a ca is the first step definitely we should be able to take up the the, the it knowledge i have used the terminology comfortable it knowledge comfortable it knowledge is up to every individual what is comfortable to you you learn it software knowledge and skills on development of mis dashboard reports mostly used for decision making purpose very important now artificial intelligence usage and application in forensic profession knowledge updating and learn to unlearn that is also an important terminology which you should be uh, looking after the, the 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 skill for unlearning many things and then learning new things open to new learning and then continuous up continuous updates on profession these are the things which i would you know rather recommend to the new aspiring uh, ca students that you should be in line with the 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 technology support uh, basically what we do is we, we mix the ca experience with the it experience and then then i think we will be a fine uh, ca because we can't isolately work uh, ca separately and then it separately because now mostly as i said balance sheet has you know a greater involvement now on on it and so if we are not thorough on on some of the control segments or control sectors which you know been using to to generate a balance sheet then then we cannot audit that or we cannot make an opinion on that so what i recommend is mixing it knowledge and then our ca expertise 
will will make you a, a good CA. And a, a CA should not forget to interact with human being. That's the that's a fundamental thing. It's a communication. We should not forget to interact, to learn and practice the comfortable level of IT I already mentioned. Finally, you should be a good human being. Yeah, to be a good human being. And then uh, this question, uh, you know, most of the students must be interested to know this. Should I be good in mathematics for, for, for entering into CA? I suggest not really, but uh, scoring a strong fundamental math skill is required in entire areas of a CA. It's all about maths IQ. Should think fast and analyze the figures. And I can't run without touching, you know, a, a quote from great Rahul Dravid. I was poor at mathematics, and so I choose commerce. In the second year of my BCom, I decided to do a CA in case cricket did not work out. After opening the first book, I doubled my efforts in cricket. That was his uh, version. You know, which may, you should not take it as a negative quote. I'm just telling it as a positive quote. Maths is must in, in CA, but you know, you don't need to be worried about mathematics. Basic maths with good IQ on maths will, will make you, you know, a good CA student. And again, um, again, it's, it's a joke. Basically, people with CA, we do a lot of works. Yeah. So people ask, what is the similarity between a, a Miss Universe or a Mr. Universe? And the CA both are concerned about the in the bracket figures. So figures, you know, we do figure works. CA do figure works. But as I mentioned in my earlier slides, figure works. The the, the scope of doing the job or the way we handle the figures are changing now. The trend is changing. So we should be able to adapt with the new technology to analyze the the figures. And this quote has already been shown a couple of times earlier. I need MBA, Ratan Tata's uh, statement. And what is the future of CA course? Uh, finance never dies. As long as there is an industry or a business, finance is there. So finance never dies. Therefore, future of CA is always bright. That is what I feel. It opens doors for many employment opportunity across the globe. And uh, as I mentioned, I, I'm not reading the whole uh, lines, but instead I just wanted to show these are the things which, uh, you know, uh, self-practice. See, I said about three options. One is go for a self-practice, and second is uh, taking a job, and then uh, third one is, you know, starting own business. But these two are, you know, a bit lengthy. So I, I would like to, you know, point out statutory and regulatory audit, which James sir already mentioned, and uh, assurance. Mostly these have been covered. Self-practice, what are the points to be included? But, you know, please remember, these are not the exclusive points to be done under self-practice. These are only an indicative lines where you can focus because these are the traditional way we, we, have, we are handling it. But towards the end of this uh, lines, you can see uh, business valuations, mergers and acquisitions, which are the, the recent trends in the market now for, for uh, CAs, along with other traditional services. And then taking a job as an accounts manager, finance manager, CFO, CEO job, reporting officers, portfolio management, asset management, tax management, et cetera. You know, these are also few area of the jobs which you can see, especially in the Middle East, or if you go anywhere in the globe now, these are very generic, you know, job profiles. But uh, if you see uh, among these portfolio management and asset management, you know, are the area where the young CA aspirants must be mostly focusing on because uh, the, the, the their idea should be more on you know, stock market, investment, fund management. So, so basically, these two points makes a lot of relevance in the, in the modern times, portfolio management and asset management. So, uh, and then uh, doing own job. You know, when I say doing own job or own business, you can start any business. As a CA, once you are into a, a business, uh, if you ask me a question, what business would you recommend? Any business, but you know, FinTech, like uh, as a technology person, think of fintech industry, which is the trending uh, segment now, especially like uh, a, a CA. Like uh, we can, you know, analyze the figures. We can uh, research a lot on that, and then that that will give you a lot of uh, opportunity in the market now. And then this is also already discussed. Uh, I'm not uh, 
See, these are reciprocity arrangement by ICA. Why I mentioned this is in, in, in my slides are because these are opportunities. So these opportunity, like uh, these are the opportunity for the CA students. Once you qualify, you know, the, the there are many reciprocity arrangement by ICA India with other institutes and other, other various associations where you can utilize those uh, arrangements. And uh, there are few bilateral cooperations between the ICA and uh, other associations or other, other countries. So students, you are in the right part. Know the profession first, join the profession, and then enjoy the profession. That's my suggestion. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity. Arigishan Sahib, you are on mute. Thank you very much, uh, CA uh, Jay Krishnan, for uh, enlightening our member students and uh, uh, for sharing your thoughts about the various uh, career path. Uh, I liked your one uh, line which you mentioned that as long as money, finance is there, CA will be there. So that's very interesting. And uh, now I would like to request our chairman to present a certificate of appreciation on behalf of the ICI Dubai chapter to CA Jack Krishnan. Yeah, thank you, Jay Krishnan. Saf. In <clears> fact, <throat> there is one question by Mohammed uh, Iham. Is he a stressful job? So I would like to uh, go back to the slide which is presented by uh, Jay Krishnan Saf, the last slide. Know the profession. Uh, what is that? The second line? Learn um, the profession and enjoy the profession. So when enjoy you enjoy the profession, the profession, there is no stressful. It, it is stress-free. Thank that you, Jay what, Krishnan Saf. Uh, yeah, enjoy the profession is more important than joining the profession. That's what yeah, I yeah, yeah. from my practice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jay Krishnan. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Krishnan ji. Uh, I think I will email you this uh, certificate of appreciation to you, sir. Now I would uh, like to thank. Uh, uh, Krishnan sir, <clears throat> if students can, uh, so we can take a group picture if students are ready to switch on their uh, video for a minute. Uh, you know, we can uh, post it in our social media platforms and all. Uh, yeah. So if uh, everybody can switch on their camera, we can take a group photo. Yes. Uh, Let me do the formal vote of thanks. I'll take yeah, only yeah. 30 seconds. Yes. Not yeah. more than that. Now I would like to thank all of our speakers once again for taking out the time out of their busy schedule to address our students and aspiring students. And I would also like to thank our, thank our sponsors, our principal sponsors, Tally, Lulu, IFCO, and Danube, our platinum sponsors, UHY James and HLB Hemp. I also thank our media partner, Khalish Times, institutional partner, Delhi Private School, and banking partner, Bank of Baroda. Uh, you can leave your feedback in the chat. I, I know that we have already overshooted the time for which I apologize. Uh, thanks for joining us. Now we can have a group photo. If you can, just a minute, sir, I will put it on the uh, gallery and then we can take I think still there are many members who are still our uh, students they have not switched on their cameras but we can take the photo yeah I mean give, give them a minute that maybe <clears throat> they can switch they will switch okay. on okay that's nice and uh, I am unmu unmuting all so if anybody wants to give their feedback uh, they are most welcome thank you very much students uh, really uh, now we can see you and uh, interact uh, interact uh, very nicely. Just a minute. Let me unmute you all. Yeah, I have unmuted all now. I mean, if you want to say anything, I mean, you are most welcome to say. Let's cheer up. I am taking the photo. Thank you. Thank you. I have taken the photo. And uh, really, once again, thank you for your time. Uh, is there anyone I mean who wants to give their feedback for the session? Uh, sorry, I'm not a student, but I'm. Uh, thank you for your session. It's a great. Actually, I'm in dilemma whether to choose uh, my daughter, uh, CA or uh, not CA. Last week I met <clears throat> a great uh, privilege to meet uh, CA profession. Uh, before I don't know about CA profession. Today I learned a lot about the CA profession. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, all the CA people, and uh, it's a very honor. I should say that your profession is a great honor to Indian uh, education system. Actually, we educate, Indian education system should learn from the CA profession. That, that much I can. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Srinivas, for your kind words. Really appreciate.
Harisab Chitra, uh, Dr. Chitra Madam has raised the hand. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I will ask them to ask her to unmute. Yeah, now you can speak, Chitra ji. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good evening to everyone. It was really a fantastic session. Thank you, Nuranisa, so much. And most wanted session at this part of the time, this part of the year, because this is the time our students of grade 10 will be uh, choosing um, the stream of the choice. So uh, it definitely is a useful um, session for them. Uh, one reflection and one question, please, if you will allow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, please. Uh, first is that, you know, I've always considered the CA, getting into CA uh, um, equivalent to uh, doing a BTEC in uh, IIT or in uh, MBA in IIMs, the top premier uh, institutes of India. Um, getting into those IITs and MBA is very difficult. Getting out is comparatively easier. But I believe that CA getting in might be simpler, but getting out seems to be most difficult. So that is one thing our students need to need to understand. And somehow um, professionals like you should motivate them to to of make it possible that they don't think uh, the, the, the getting out part is, should not be a deterrent to them from uh, choosing uh, this uh, course. That is number one, that is my reflection. And uh, another question is, I think this might be uh, uh, very useful for all our, all our students. Um, is the reverse possible, the reciprocity uh, that we're talking about, uh, you know, do a CA and then get another, uh, you know, do come some courses so that you're a CP of a different country. Now, is the alternate, the reverse possible. You do a CP somewhere else in a different country and then uh, you take some more extra courses to become a CA also, an Indian Chartered Accountant. Is that possible? Pradeep Sab. Yes. Uh, mutual uh, recognition agreements means that uh, both ways it's possible because the, then only the name is mutual recognition agreement. But it will only be possible with those countries where it has been done. Like we continuously add on the countries uh, and uh, that's possible. But uh, a individual who is doing another course and uh, uh, getting our ICI membership uh, based on reciprocity, uh, they may not get practicing rights in India but getting a membership of the institute uh, will be there. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you, ma'am. There is a question by Doon, uh, sir, uh, Doon Bachar. Yeah, yeah, I am I already talk, asking yeah. him to unmute. He can ask his question. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. I did not have a question, but I was actually uh, wanting to say that it was very helpful. And I'm living in India and my dad is basically living in Dubai. And I would really love to be a part of the uh, institution there and be able to work there. And it was very helpful from the speakers. And um, we really had a lot of questions and they were solved in many ways. And it was the motivation and inspiration. So thank you so much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dhun, uh, for your kind, kind feedback. And uh, now I think uh, there is no question. So I will be ending the meeting unless if anyone has to say anything. Okay, I'm going to end Thank the you. meeting. Thank you. Thank all. you very much. Good, Good night. night. Happy, happy New Year in advance. Bye. And happy New Year in advance. Thank you. Thank you.